touring with Robin Williams, he's been working with Gary Barlow, and he's been wearing Kylie's pants. Who is this cheeky chap? the lovely Ollie Mallard. This is when Stephen met Ollie. Four years ago, he was a regular cheeky chappy from Essex. Now he's a cheeky chappy from Essex with four UK number one singles, three UK number one albums, over 10 million album sales worldwide, just under 5 million Twitter followers, a sellout arena tour and a stadium tour supporting Robbie Williams under his belt. He also wears a hat really well and does great things on stage like falling downstairs and splitting his trousers. Please welcome Ollie Nurse. Holy Mars. That was amazing, that VT. When you see all of that, what goes through your mind? It's mental. It really is. You know, I think you, you've been around for four, I think four years. It feels like I've been around for like a year, but all that, I mean, just looking back on the memories and the, the, the you know, the, what I've achieved and stuff's great. It's been, been amazing. Let's go back those four years. So 2009. Yes. Runner up to Joe McEldry. Mm -hmm. um, how much can you remember of that night? I can't. I, I, do you know what? It's really funny because when I was doing the X Factor, I, I honestly, this is God's honest truth, I just I just did it every week. I didn't really know how big the show was. It's ridiculous. You could watch on TV at home, but you don't really know the scale of the show until you're on it and you're in it as a contestant. Because when you come off the show, like, I was completely baffled. I, didn't, I thought no one liked me because I finished runner-up. And it's ridiculous because each week they were voting me in. But I don't know, I finished the show and I, that night, the final night was just... Oh my god, I remember walking out with Joe and the Dermot said the, the words and the winner of the X Factor. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, we're actually at this point. This is it. This is the last night. This is the last thing that's going to happen. But after it, what was the first point where you went, do you know something? I'm, I'm famous now. Do you know what? I'll tell you what it was. I went to, um, I went and did this gig in North of Wales, it was. Middle of nowhere, because obviously I went back to Essex and people knew me in Essex, which was nice. And I went down a local pub and people knew me. Steve still knew me in the pub. Right, Steve. Um, and it good was, old Steve. Good old Steve. But everyone kind of knew me. And, and But then when I went to North Wales, I was in the middle of nowhere. I remember turning up and it was like this, it was only supposed to hold a thousand people this gig. I can't remember what it was now. It was like two, three thousand people there. There was like police on horses. It was like me coming into town. I was like, whoa. And I turned up and I... I just thought that no one out of Essex or London knew who I was, but they did. Um, and then that kind of was a bit surreal. I've always said it, and you, you know I said it to you. You are you, you are the nicest person in show oh, life. Very, you are grand, you admit that. And I was only saying that to my chauffeur and mate the other day. Chauffeur? <laughs> um, now let's talk about um, Robbie Williams. You know, yeah. When you did X Factor, Simon was going, you are the new Robbie. It was... Um, that was a big statement to make, by the way, and I, and I remember when, when Simon was saying that, and I was like, I'm not sure that's a good idea, um, and I'm not sure I'm as good as Robbie, but anyway, carry on. Well, not saying so. You, you, you just finished touring with him. But yeah. Wow. We, and we just literally, a few weeks ago, we finished, and um, yeah. it was incredible. Like, I'm not, you know, for me, I think, one, you just said it about me, but for me, well, I met Robbie in 2009, and I was like, with these high expectations, Robbie Williams is coming to see me in a minute going to do a sound check with him oh my god it's Robbie Williams and he was just the nicest most down to earth guy I could have ever met and even four years on he's the same guy he's no different like I honestly you know I met a few other people on the show and other singers and they were just so rude and a little bit you know a little bit sort of looked down at you because you're no one and even when I came off the X Factor even now I go to events or I go to festivals or I go to uh, these big and there's, these artists just look down at you all the time like you're nothing. You like know. who? I can't keep my name, <laughs> Steve. I'm too nice. But they do. Yet you're sat there with Mr. Robbie Williams, who has been in the game for 20 years, done everything, you know, and he really is the nicest guy, and he just has such a good time, and he enjoys himself. And for me to be with him every night, learning from such an amazing icon that he is, and an amazing entertainer that he is, um, you know, it's, it's brilliant. For What's me? the best bit of advice he's given you? <laughs> don't do drugs, don't do tricks. <laughs> no, I mean, um, the best advice he actually gave me was when I was on the show. And he said, oh, the way when you make sure you, when you write your album and it goes number one, make sure you write your own songs. Make sure you go and make sure that you don't become uh, the, the, you know, the industry puppet that people think you are going to be from the X Factor. So make sure you go into the studio, make sure you write your own songs. Make sure they're personal to you, because if they're personal to you, then 
you'll be able to sing with so much more passion and so much more love and the, the fans will hear it and go yes I get this you know what I mean instead of me just singing a song I don't really like and and I always stuck with me that how true is it that you're writing with Gary Barlow as well well I spoke to Gary um on the X a few years, like last year and the year before, and, and I've just got to know Gary really well, as Robbie as well, and I've just said to him, look, you know, I, I, we all love music, you know, I've, you know, why don't we get in the studio and do some songs and see what happens, I mean. But what a nice thing to be able to do. <laughs> I know. I mean, get one of the be- one of the be- one of the best songwriters that's ever been in this country, and um, can get Gary to well, hopefully you know we, we spoke about it. Hopefully get him into the studio next year and, and just see what happens. Have a couple of months, a couple of days together, and just see what we can come up with. Hopefully we can write a big, big smash hit record, and well, we can all laugh. But you know. You are performing Right Place, Right Time. Yes. On the album. I am the album Right Place, Right, which has done so well. And I, I must say to any, anyone that's bought it, thank you so much. I mean, this that's album. That's right. Thanks, Steve. Did you got it? Yes, that's all right. But no, thanks to everyone that's, that's bought it. Um, it's, it's done so, so well. And, and I think I'm probably one of the first X Factor acts to have a, a better, better album each time. Every time I've released an album, it's done better than the last, which is pretty cool. So I'm happy with that. Do you know what I loved, by the way, when you, I'm going to go back on the tour thing, when you finished with Robbie, you, the picture you sent. Oh, no. Because <laughs> if you didn't see the tour, right, if you didn't see, um, Ollie kids. performed Kids with Robbie every, every night. night. Every night, yeah. So you were his Kylie. I was his Kylie every night, yeah. So um, we, we, we got an outfit just for, the, just for a laugh. And I thought, I'm going to tweet it. And, and I, I put this outfit on for everyone that's watching. And if you haven't seen it, you should well you, you will see there, there it is oh okay. god the, <laughs> the thing is is that the comment that Kylie made I don't know if we can even say it so that was stiff competition <laughs> hashtag hot pants yes um, so uh, we had a few different things to come back with but um, I came back with something about no Brazilian because there was there was a lot of hair. Obviously, men have a lot of hairy necks. Indeed. That it was it was quite tight in a lot of areas. Um, so a lot was being revealed. Um, but in the vid, that, I mean, that picture is. I mean, I just did it for a laugh. And but you know what? Getting to perform kids every night for for Robbie was pretty special. So um, what's next for Ollie Murs? Oh, um, okay. So I go back to America. Um, for a couple of weeks um, and then I go to then I've got an Australian tour to do then I've got a European sort of middle sort of tour to do then I've got to go to Japan then I've got um, something sort of something special for the fans for Christmas I've got coming out and then I get to Christmas it's just non-stop and yeah and then I mean that's why I couldn't do the extra factor this year which I'm obviously devastated I'm not doing it but um, obviously music's just hit, up, hit really well this year and I've travelled a lot and worked a lot and it's all going very, very well. But I was just thinking earlier, do you remember when I first met you, Steve? Go on. You can't remember. Do you remember, um, what's that show? I can't remember because it was really successful. Um, <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> well, sorry, I'm <I'm> sorry. <laughs> yeah, the show that is no more. And Magic I had numbers. <laughs> it disappeared and then I came back. Just to get that gag out. That's cheap. <laughs> That's cutting. Ollie, it's lovely to see you. Thanks, buddy. And uh, let's hear Ollie Merce. Come Thanks, on. Thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs> And that is not the end. There will be more. There we are.